This Quick Office tutorial is for Quick Office Mobile Office Suite for iPhone and iPod Touch devices. This lesson will show you how to mount your device as a drive to transfer files between your computer and your device using Quick Office. This lesson will provide instructions for Windows Vista. If you need instructions for Mac OS X or Windows XP, please see our other tutorials. First, make sure you have an active Wi-Fi connection on your device and your computer, and verify that your device and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. When you open QuickOffice, you will see a URL at the bottom of the main screen. This URL can also be found if you press the Wi-Fi icon on any file list screen. Follow these steps to mount your device. On your Windows Vista system, choose Start Computer. From the Tools menu, select the Map Network Drive item. This will open the Map Network Drive window. You will need to assign a drive letter to represent your mobile device. Choose any of the available drive letters from the Drive menu. Enter the address of the device, the URL displayed in QuickOffice, in the Folder field and press the Finish button. If you have enabled authentication for file transfers, your computer will prompt you for a username and password. Enter the same username and password you have set up in the file transfer settings in QuickOffice on your device. Your computer will then mount your device as a drive. A window will open on your computer and you can then transfer files from your computer to your iPhone and from your iPhone to your computer by dragging and dropping files from one to the other. If you would like to prevent your device from going to sleep during the transfer of files, you can access the Disable Sleep setting from the Settings icon on the QuickOffice home screen. Please note that leaving Disable Sleep turned on for long periods of time can reduce your battery charge. And that's how to transfer files between your computer with Windows Vista and your iPhone by mounting your device as a drive. For other QuickOffice tutorials, please visit www.quickoffice.com.